Well, we are back here today with part two with the right machinery for the job. Got to get all the pressure off the system before we go ahead and disconnect the water line. Hope is if we dig a big pit here, then we can flop it and go that way with it. The goal here is not to allow too much shit to fall in the hole. Right. Oh. I think when we get that pad off, it's going to be a big hole anyway. Probably. So. Alright, so for anybody wondering, this is a plastic to metal transition. So this is going to adapt to the metal casing that's in the ground. And then the plastic side is what we're going to slip this five foot piece into. And then this should be long enough to bring it above ground level. Now, because the, uh, the pipe was probably welded down below, we also brought a four inch grinder to where we can cut it flush and smooth it. Because I know it's not gonna be that, that great looking once we get it open. It broke. If you come around on the backside, you can grab it with the thumb and pull it out. There you go. There you go. That's beautiful. We may not have to dig it up. If we're lucky. Alright. Hudson, alright, take take alright, take all the concrete pieces and set them away. Not no, all the loose pieces. Watch where you stand, because we might be standing on the fucking. Yeah, because all this could theoretically collapse inward. Get too close. Try not to let shit fall down the hole. You guys gonna grab the case? I think I got it. All right. Hudson, help me. Okay. Look, it is. It's exactly what I said it was. It was a coupling. It was a coupling. Look, it won't, I bet it won't have a thread. Did it weld the coupling? Yeah, something. I don't think, it was like it was just set on there. It was like it was raised like that and they set thread. it on it. Never thread it. Those aren't. That's metal down there? Yeah. And there's no threads there. We'll have to dig that side out. If we can't get it to move, okay. I think we could set something on top of it. Yeah, we need to set something on. All right, go plastic. get go get me a well seal out of the truck, and I'm gonna set a well seal on it right now so we won't fill it full of dirt. All right, y'all don't let me fall. Yeah, don't, don't fall. So if it up. fits there, it'll fit down in here. I got a little bit of mud in each It's all good. I got the main piece. <laughs> Just long enough for your arm. It's in there. All due to no grout. That's yeah, great. I'm just digging the holes. That is great. Now hold on. So this is what we do. Just take this. Slide. Take this. Cut it. Cut it right here. And then take that piece and stick it down the center. We're plugging holes. Twist it. Yeah. We like plugging holes. No, 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 no. Take the long piece. The longer piece. Yep. Now here, pull that tape off it. He's good, Dad. Now that plugged the center of the hole. Okay, yeah, small here, shit here you go. <laughs> I don't think there's threads on that piece down there. They they rested it on top of it. Take your bucket and clean that out for me. 
tooth right there. There you go. Get two scoops. Two by four, a piece of a. Uh, hey, look, it stays. Cool. All we really gotta do is be able to get a wire brush around it, clean the dirt off of it. What's the? In case you lose, don't it? Yeah. Okay, good. It makes life easier. All right, we're just gonna clean around it a little bit more to where we can get transition around it. We're gonna take. Take this little area off right here, right. and then the we'll take the wire brush, we'll clean around it, and we'll slip the transition coupling over. At least the trailer we had last time. Yeah. But we had to do this part first before we could do any other part. Yeah. Got a wire brush? All right. I'm gonna go to the truck and get hey, one. Hey, get your little drill with your little wire wheel. I don't, yeah, I don't think I have it in the truck. Now, See, what, what do you think of a liner? Yeah, it needs to be lined, but I told him we needed to do this first because right. you couldn't get the pipe through there. Right, right, it was, right. Okay, it was, let's get that root out of here. You need a pair of wire pliers. But, all right, so now what we're finding out is 10 foot down, there's another joint down there. It's um, not welded. That's not welded, and it's doing the same thing 10 feet down. But luckily, it's still, it's still lined up, so it can get a 4-inch liner right. once it's raised. Now, um, okay. Yeah, that's true. It all, it has to be lined in order for the the rainwater to stay out of it. Right. right. Okay. So. Well, you know what happened? See, uh, they couldn't perfect. get the casing down. They couldn't get it in, and, and so uh, what happened was they went in and cleaned it out. And you know how our casing falls? They didn't have anything back then to hook the metal on. Right. So, so they rested it on top of it. So they just set it right on top of it. <laughs> But that's all they had back in the uh, in the 70s, 60s. This was drilled in like 91. Huh? This was drilled in 91. Well, late 80s. Or late uh, 80s. Late 80s, yeah. Late it'll 80s. say it on the tag. Right. I think it was late 80s. Yeah, because this is Joe Ball here. It's got too much of a lip right now. I'm going to have to grind that off. Okay, hang on just for a second then. I can feel that there's a, definitely a wedged out lip here. Right. It goes on the inside and the outside. Right, yeah, because see, they cut it with the casing cut. Yep. And then it fell. Yeah, and then it fell. Yeah, they weren't all the way to the bottom. I can grind that. Good to go. Just that outside lip. check it out when you get down there right. 10 foot down right. where the other joint is right. that's where the dirt starts so okay. it's washed all the dirt right. away right. to the point of where the lower leak right. is, is it, what do you, here let's uh let's do it up here because yeah, we can right oh now. you think it's started now yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go around it one more time okay sure. yeah get the flap you hey, feel it with your hand and you can probably feel where the lip is and then focus on that area Hit it hard, husband. Hit it hard. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Don't hit me. Hope. Oh, that's it. No more. So I didn't want to tap it too hard. Yeah, I know it broke the board, but we knew. Keep going. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Up. She looks good. I mean, she looks good. So what we're putting in now is a granular chipped bentonite. 
and when it gets wet it's gonna swell definitely gonna help I'd like to, uh, I want you to uh, show this to Mr. Hargrove, to call Mr. Hargrove in, I need to tell him that we need to seal it up. Yes. I'm going to go get him right after this. You're not going to believe this, but that, that, that night tightened it's, it up. I know, I figured it would. I was right hoping up. when we put dirt back in there, it would help tighten it up. No, it tightened it right up. That's great. I mean, I mean I, I'm not moving it now. That's great. Hey, stop it. You're right. It moved, it Damn. tightened it right up. But see, I think so. We get, no longer we can't we can't wiggle that pipe anymore right. because we put the bentonite down there. Up. So it made it you know it made it's it firm. Only, it's only down there about three foot. Yeah, the bentonite. That's great. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna get four or five more bags of grout until we can grout it all the way to the surface, and then hopefully in the future the homeowner will still want to line the well. It's still gonna need a well liner, but uh, we fixed the upper portion. The casing is nice and rigid. We just legally have to bring the grout all the way to the surface. So that's what we're going to go do now, and then we'll be back and finish it up. So this right here was the piece that was wiggling the other day, right? Uh -huh. This end was down in the ground, okay? And there's threads on this coupling, but there were no threads on the piece that were down in the ground. So they literally rested this piece down. So it's been that way its entire life. That was four feet down, and it was broken. Mm -hmm. Ten feet below that... There's another broken one. It's the same thing. So we poured, you see that, that it looks like gravel, but it's not. Those, those gray chips are actually bentonite. It's a clay. Mm -hmm. And that's the well grout that was actually supposed to go around that open borehole you see right there. They went back right now to go get more bags of that stuff, but it's not gonna fix the solution. It's still cracked down there. It's still gonna let in rainwater. So, it still is going to probably have to get lined in the future. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the way it looked before, with it offset, we couldn't get the liner in there. So this, this part of it still had to be done in order for us to line it. So what I'm going to suggest you do is we're going to leave the old pump on it. We're going to put it in. We're going to let you use it. If, if you decide that, hey, you know, it rained and it didn't get muddy, great. Like, spectacular. I'm hoping that the bentonite will actually seal that crack okay. to where that, you know, it won't be an issue. But I'm going to give you a 20% chance that that's going to be the case. 80% chance you're still going to need a liner. That way it won't get muddy after rain anymore. But what probably happened is over time, the bottom portion of that pipe settled. And the upper portion of the pipe that was cemented in, it uh -huh. stayed stationary. Uh -huh. So it, it pulled itself a loose. Sweet. That'd be better for it not to run it wide open. No, because those machines were designed to run at a specific RPM to keep the exhaust filter clean. Yeah. So if you run them at a lower RPM, the exhaust can't clean itself because it's not getting hot enough to burn off the, uh, the stuff. Right. That's good, Jeff. Just watch your head, man. Just get away from the bucket.
I mean, we typically tell people the lifespan of metal casing is 50 years. Right. So that's right there at that. Right. You're right. Okay. Hey, give me that roll of wire out. My legs are too short. On the side, Phil, from the side. Always from the side. There you go, just like that. Beautiful. Phillip's the expert at this. No, I just know how not to pinch my hand. Yeah. <laughs> hey, takes experience. Hey, once you do it once, you'll never do it again. Yeah. <laughs> but I think this I don't lid. I know about that. <laughs> this lid is not a, uh, a lid that belongs on this. It, shit, it doesn't fit on it. Alright, we're gonna turn this on before I cover it up and make sure we don't have any leaks. Okay, yeah. Well, y'all, hey, you like the way that looks? A whole lot better than the way it was. I'm gonna head inside now, turn the breaker back on, make sure we got good water. That's turned off. Alright, on the way to go tell the homeowner to turn the breaker back on, make sure that the water's good to go, and we're gonna get out of here. Um, can you turn the breaker back on? Yeah. Alright, look, we put chlorine down in your well. Okay. It's gonna sanitize it. It's probably gonna get really red because we pulled the pump out. So be careful washing clothes because it will bleach them. The more you use water, the faster that chlorine will get out of that well. Okay? okay? So you should be good to go. Okay. If you can. That that was what we talked about. Okay. Yep. And how much about oil today? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Nothing. We'll we'll call that even. Okay. I try to be a man of my word on what I tell people it's gonna cost. I try to stick with that. All right. All right. I'll get your money. Buddy. Ten four. All right. Well, the breaker's on. He's got water. It's gonna be a little discolored for a little while, but once he runs it long enough, he'll get the chlorine out, and the water should actually clear up. If uh. If you get a phone call in a month and he says it's dirty after it rained, then we'll have to come back and we'll have to put a liner in. But <clears throat> you only can fix one thing at a time. Go ahead and turn this off. Okay. Well, took y'all along with me for part two of the fix. Hope you enjoyed the video. I got to get through and edit it all, but thank y'all for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it on the journey to get 100,000. If you like the content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. See y'all later.